Brandon, how much does you know playoff experience maybe and experience overall in the NFL help uh, a quarterback when you're going into this stage of the postseason? Yeah, hopefully it helps a little bit. You've been there before. Um, it's nothing. You know, the experience is not new. Um, but at the end of the day, you have to go out and, and execute and play well. Do you still have a little bit of nerves before kickoff uh, for a playoff game, or is that kind of old hat by now? Uh, I don't know if it's old hat. You know, I think there's a level of excitement and, and energy going into every game, and that only amps up during, during playoffs. And um, so you, you take the field knowing what it, what it is and what's at stake, but also at the end of the day, it's, it's another game. So um, just have to go execute and play well and play your best ball and come away with the win. How about that? We, go ahead, Katie. With that week of self-reflection you had, what were some of the things as you look back that, that you felt you did well and what would be some areas for improvement for you? Yeah, I think there's, there was a lot of areas of things we did well and things we can improve upon. Um, you know, I felt like we just left, left some things on the table you know, throughout uh, the course of, of the last part of the season. Um, opportunities that, that we didn't hit for whatever reason and, and can get more out of, whether it's a, a run play or, or a play action or, or a drop back. You know, I just felt like if we clean a few things up and tighten things up, then we're going to get more out of what we're running and, and uh, move the ball more effectively. How much is maybe the mood change even inside the building going into a week when, as you kind of talked about last week, you, know, you lose and you go home now? Oh, there's an excitement. You know, there's a buzz. Uh, this is, you know, you work all season to get into the playoffs and, and go chase a ring. So uh, we're excited to, to be here. We're excited to, to have this opportunity and, you know, go play our best ball on Saturday. It took you a while to, to get your first playoff opportunity. How much do you kind of cherish these, these chances now? Yeah, no doubt. Don't want to take it for granted. Uh, I was talking to the guys last week about, you know, these opportuni opportunities don't just come every year. And uh, you have to take advantage of it. So. Uh, we realize, almost. We uh, we realize, you know, last last year we didn't we didn't go play our best ball and and we got sent home. So uh, we need to be able to to go out, execute against a really good team and and uh, come away with a win. Last three games, albeit games you guys won, it took the offense at least a quarter to sort of get going. What what's got to change there to make things start faster? Yeah, just execute early in games. You know, I think uh, and couple situations we put ourselves behind the chains with penalties uh, got to clean those up and then uh, just play good clean football you know when the opportunities are there make them and then uh, you know don't kill yourselves still waiting to see if you get Derek back obviously this Saturday but having AJ having Julio how much of a you know that prospect of having all three of them together do you try not to get too excited and what could this do for that offense yeah I'm excited to, to have have our guys back you know it's uh it's a little bit different when you have have guys uh, guys back and, and guys that you've played with a lot. So uh, it's definitely a positive thing. But at the end of the day, you have to go make the plays and execute. Just because you have uh, guys back, or or maybe Derek's coming back, um, just because he walks out there doesn't mean uh, anything's going to happen. We have to go out and earn it and and make the plays necessary to win the game. What are the Bengals on uh, against the Raiders, and maybe what have you seen from their defense throughout the season? Yeah, you see a good defense. They're playing well right now. Um, they have good players. You know, you, you see the edge rushers. They're getting getting to the pocket, getting good push in the middle uh, from Reader. Uh, I know Ogunjobi's out, but he he was doing a really good job for them. Uh, the backers are, are running fast and playing physical. And Bates on the back end, he's he's making plays all over the field. You know, he's rangy. He has a really good sense of where the ball is going to go. He ends up around the ball a lot. Um, Vell's coming down. He's big. He's physical. He's making making tough tackles and kind of setting the tone. And they have some length and, and size out on the edges. Uh, and uh, really, just overall, you look at, at a really sound defense. They give you a ton of different looks uh, with the same personnel. You know, you can kind of drive yourself crazy if you try to, uh, to uh, dissect it all. You know, they're going to play every, every type of coverage, um, all, all types of different fronts with, with the same people. So our communication has to be clean. And um, we have to all be on the same page and go out and execute against the different looks they give us. It's been a while since we asked you about your relationship with Todd Downing and just the install and that process goes. How has that kind of evolved as you guys have worked through the season? Yeah, you're constantly growing. You know, that relationship is constantly growing, um, constantly evolving, you know, with the ins and outs of who's in, who's out, and where we're at with things throughout the season. So I feel like Todd's just done a really good job of, of navigating that and, and uh, you know, steady progressing as the season's gone on. 
you mm-hmm. gotten like more involved as far as like what's up and what's down for for that week as far as the play sheets concerned? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's been pretty pretty steady the whole year. Uh, you know, we do a good good job, in my opinion, of of getting on the same page early in the week before you know things are fully installed, adjusting things if necessary throughout the week, and uh, going into the game feeling really good about what we have. Well, you self scouted your last week yourself. What did you see that you liked, and what did you see that you wanted to improve on for the playoffs? Yeah, like I said, you know there was there was a lot of plays that you know we did really well, and, and you like. Um, at times we we were pushing the pocket, we were. Or sorry, pushing the pile. We we're finishing really well. I want to clean that up. We got to have our best effort and finish as we as we go into the playoffs here, and uh, some good things in the play action, some some downfield shots, and then obviously some opportunities we left out there. Looking back at the last year's game against the Bengals, Grable said there's enough to make you puke. Uh, were you able to learn anything about last year's game, and does that help this year at all? I mean. It's tough to say. You know, their, their defense has changed a whole lot personnel-wise. Uh, there's a few few of the same faces, but a lot of different guys over there. Um, so that has to be adjustment. Uh, and, and they're playing really well right now. So uh, maybe as a uh, as a jump-off point to, to look at, you know, how they played us and and how we played, obviously, and the things we can clean up. But at the end of the day, it's it's a, a very different defense and who's out there, and, um, and they're much better. Ryan, when Derek got hurt, you guys said you didn't want to stray too far from your identity offensively in terms of approach. And if you do get him back, do you feel like you didn't stray enough to where it'll be seamless to bring him back now that you haven't changed too much from what you were doing when he was healthy? Yeah, I think so. I think we, we kind of stuck to our guns, and uh, I think the uh, the stats will show that. We ran the ball really well, even, uh, even with Derek out. So, um, you know. If he is back, it would be nice to have him back, but I feel like we've uh, you know, stuck to our, our guns and our game plan, and we can insert him back in. What's your relationship like with, with Zach Taylor your, over your time in Miami, and how you like the job maybe he's done in Cincinnati? And are you not surprised at the, at the success he's had? No, I'm so happy for Zach. Uh, just a, a, a great guy, a great man, and, and enjoyed my time with him. He, he helped me out so much early in my career. Uh, you know, my relationship started with him back at A&M. You know, he was helping out with the tight ends. And then, obviously, my first few years in Miami, being the quarterback coach. So I spent a lot of time with him. Uh, love him as a man. And he's, a, he's a heck of a football coach. So, you know, really happy with, with his success. You know, just hopefully, you know, we can come out on top this week. He said today that uh, he roots for you all year, but obviously not this Saturday. Uh, kind of the same for you? Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Always pulling for Zach. Uh, and a lot of those guys on that staff that I have the relationships with. Um, Good people, good coaches, so you pull for them as long as it's not against us. You have your full arsenal of teammates and weapons available. Is there a confidence comfort boost that comes with that? Yeah, no doubt. There's definitely a, a confidence boost uh, just knowing what we have out there, the, the capabilities we have. Um, like, like I said, at the end of the day, you have to go make the plays. Just because guys, guys are out there doesn't mean it's just going to happen. You have to execute and make the plays. As a quarterback, when you face a defense that can get pressure with four as opposed to having to manufacture, what kind of difference does that make for you? Yeah, I mean, there's more guys in coverage, right? You know, if they can, you know, collapse the pocket and get pressure with four, then uh, there's more guys in coverage, and theoretically, it's, it's harder to, to complete the ball downfield. You know, I feel like uh, this team does a good job with that, as well as you know, mixing in pressures or send pressures, uh, and you know, bringing guys from all different spots, but still. You know, having guys in coverage, so going to have to be on top of our game, no doubt about it. You've always had the relationship with AJ seemingly since the both of you got here, but when this offense has been at its best, there's been six, seven guys catch a ball uh, during the course of a game. How much did it feel good to get back to that the last couple of weeks, uh, to spreading the ball around? No, it feels great. You know, I feel like we have a, a good arsenal of weapons, and um, the more we can spread the ball and, and make teams. You know, not focus on one or two guys, but but cover the entire field and and take what they give us is um, definitely plays to our advantage, and, and we're going to be more f- efficient and effective. After what happened last year, Ryan, with the one and out in the playoffs, how I much said effective. That's not even a word. <laughs> effective. I tried to like just gloss effective. Over Thank you. Off. Yeah, that's just <laughs> effective. That's a new. Can we coin that somewhere? <laughs> Trade market. After uh, after the way you guys went out last year, the one and done here at home, how much is there? We're not letting that happen again. Type five here now. Yeah, I mean, you definitely learn from that experience. You know, I don't think last year really matters at this point. You know, it's it's a new year, new team, a new opportunity. But you take that experience, you learn from it, and you don't want to let it happen again. Do you strap? I know Mike talked about 
That's the reason for how every play counts. Everything you do, pushing the pile matters now. Do you stress that to guys now? And what, what do you tell maybe some of the younger guys who are embarking on their first playoff experience? Yeah, no doubt about it. Like I said, these opportunities don't just come around all too often. You have to go out, take advantage of every rep. You know, if you're a guy who gets 10 reps, then make those the best 10 reps of the year. Uh, you have to full out every single play because the uh, the stakes are higher and, and teams are better. And so if you don't play your best ball, you're going to be sent home. Did you have anything more to fly by with him after last week's, last year's game? And you have any relationship with him? And if not, what, what do you think about what he's been able to do at such a young age in his career? Yeah, I don't have, have a relationship with him. Don't really know him too well. But uh, he's, he's playing some really good football right now. Obviously, heck of a player. And, and um, you know, defense is going to have to play well to slow him down.